Today we're working in this hut that's behind you, the, the poetry potting shed, and I'm working with three groups, uh, two uh, groups of children from primary schools and then a year eight, a group of year eight students from a secondary school. And well, I usually wait until I've seen the children or the school students before I start thinking exactly what we might write about. So the idea is that we'll write for a bit and talk and talk about writing and they might ask me some questions um, and maybe read out the things that they've written. So that's what we're up to. I like to go to places uh, with my own children or with children from schools and so on because what happens is they, they talk to you about a place in a, in a different way. I might say, oh well, I can see that those are silver birches or I might sort of look at that bench and wonder what it's made of. But children might say something completely different. They might say, oh, I'd love to go on that walkway and be like a spider climbing on it and things like that. And that would wake up new ideas in me. It reminds us that the world is a classroom, that we can learn stuff from the things around us. So if you come here, you could go on nature trails, you could you know, use your bodies in that adventure playground and think about uh, running and jumping and the way we use our bodies. Um, and then we could think about these buildings and what we could put in these buildings. I mean, I'm very interested in that, the old media centre over there and all the sort of interesting things. And I'd, I'd want children to be exploring that idea as to what you can do in a space like this. And so, you know, we forget that the environment is itself a classroom. We don't have to learn about it from the classroom. We can get into it and discover it. So that's good too. It's a little bit like a sort of future scape. That's what it feels like. It doesn't sort of feel like now, because you've got these extraordinary big buildings like the Velodrome, and there's a building over there that looks like it's going to take off. So when I wander around it, and it, it does seem like it's like not of now, really, in a strange way. So I'm quite excited by it. It does seem as if I can see what, what it's going to be like in the future. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it as a, an interesting new landscape for London. Thank you.